Welcome, friends. Here we are, still uh, in Burbank. Cleared for takeoff runway one five Cessna. Six thirty four in the evening here on uh, Sunday, September twenty fourth, twenty twenty three, and we are headed on another fun short VFR flight. This time from Burbank to oh, there's somebody coming up on us. Hey, to. Um, Oxnard, K-O-X-R. So let's get going. What do you say? We are just going to fix our cameras and then we are good to go. Nice. I have part of Vegas. All right. I want to hold that guy up. It's bad form. We're flying at 4,500. Let's get that done and then let's take off. I'm going, buddy. Don't get mad. Here we go. We're good to go. Everything's good. Okay, let's go. Hold short runway one five generic one one two. All right, we're rolling. This is literally a straight line. Like we're gonna fly Sierra runway heading. We're gonna fly runway heading the whole way. Forty knots. Rotate. Right. Maintain 70 knots. Man, that tower's big. Look at that thing. Jiminy Christmas. Look at the size of that thing. Flaps. All right. The landing lights. Oh, somebody took off without clearance. That's funny. AP. Wait, actually, you know what? Let's sink our heading bug. The runway heading. Come on. Well, that guy's eager to get to Vegas, isn't he? All right, we got our heading bug now. Sink to the runway heading. Now we'll go. Autopilot heading. Altitude. All right, we'll get to the, we'll get to that in a second. We're not climbing, however. There we go. VS five hundred. There we go. Okay. All right, we're looking good. Everything looks good. Altimeters correct. There it is. Oh, I love these sunset flights, man. They are something. Climbing up here out of the valley. Got some terrain here on the left, but we'll be fine. With that, let's go ahead and get on our track line. You know, I, I said we were going to be flying runway heading, but that's not right at all. The runway is pointed due south. I guess what I meant to say was that this is a straight westerly course once we get on our track line. There we go. The runway, uh, Burbank's active runway 15 isn't headed quite due south, but it's southeast. In any case, now let's zoom out here. There we go. Okay, you see now? I can zoom in on this any more than this. Let's see. Uh, no, not that. Camera. Uh, hi, instrument. There you go. There we go. That's better. Yes. Okay, so that's... Let me... How do I, I forgot how to fix a camera? Shift Alt, Shift Alt Five. I think that's it. Anyway, that's us. That's our track line. So we want to keep going this way until we intercept that track line. And now we're on course to do that. All right. Let's see if that Shift Alt or Control Alt. Tell you, there's so many. 
so many things to remember. Let's find out if we can fix this real quick. Instrument. Instrument one. Is it is it shift alt? Let's try that. Alt one, alt five. No? Alright, I'll have to research that. In any case, here we go. Let's give it a little bit more right turn on that, huh? There we go. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and check. Where's KLXR? Where's our ETE, damn it? There we go. 39.8 nautical miles, 21 minutes, 40 seconds. It's KOXR, beautiful sunset, holy mackerel. All right, we're at closing in on 3,000 feet right now. Still doing a nice, respectable 500 feet per minute. Let's go ahead and up that just a bit. Since we can get away with it. All right. Burbank Tower, Cessna, November, tree, portrait, Robert. Wow, look at that picture. Isn't that something? Come on, give me clearance for Charlie. 5746. Squawk 5746 Cessna, Tree Bravo Whiskey. There we go. Tree Bravo Whiskey radar contact, 4 miles southeast of Van Nuys, 3,500 feet. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. See here, we're closing in on our track line. Lean out just a bit. Keep an eye on our airspeed. You see how it slipped, understandably. About 86, 87 knots right now. Descend and maintain 4,900 feet generic one Julia Papa. Still got traffic on the freeways. That is. Get our lights down just a bit. Contact Van Nuys Tower on one one nine or decimal tree when inbound on the approach. Why am I getting a not getting any uh Huh? Tower on one one nine or decimal tree generic one Juliet Papa. Alright, let's uh slow just down. Slow down just a bit here on our vertical speed. We're coming up on 4,500 feet now. So we'll level out and our airspeed will start to rebound. You see, here we go. Just about to intercept, so we'll switch over to nav, confirm we are on GPS. Huh. Passing over a, uh, oh, am I? All right, now let's make sure that the uh, aircraft turns left here in just a moment to intercept. Should be turning left. Just about to turn left. Airspeed's picking up, so let's uh, throttle out just a bit. Where's our left turn? Come on. There it is. Nice. this gorgeous wow just picture postcard sunset southern california evening so anyway we're flying to oxnard oxnard is just north of la on the coast koxr weather in oxnard 65 degrees and sunny sunset is at 650 in seven minutes Winds are currently out of the west at seven miles an hour. We'll be landing on runway 25, where the field elevation is 45 feet. We'll be exiting left on either Bravo or Delta. 
airport the runway length is uh, 5,953 feet. So the elevation is 45 feet at touchdown zone and 34 feet at the end of the runway. So it's a slight, very slight slope, downhill slope. There is a tower at Oxnard. Look at that sunset. Good Lord. Isn't that something? We're on our track line. Looking good. What's our message? Set course 258. That's where we are. So, anyway, the runway that we're going to be landing at at Oxnard is runway 25, and that's our current runway heading. So, literally, it's a straight in. Up here at 4,500 feet. Starting to see some lights. That's always good. Oh, look at that. Looks really nice. So this... Um, flight from Burbank takes us over Van Nuys, as you heard, Reseda, Canoga Park, Calabasas. We'll fly just north of Santa Monica Mountain National Recreation Area and just south of Simi Valley. Thousand Oaks. Camarillo, and then into Oxnard, which is just, if you know the area, northwest of Point Magoo, and just, just a whisker south of Ventura. I was thinking that what I'm going to do, or what I'm going to embark on, is a, is a trip up the coast of California, or even the west coast of the U.S., see where our little VFR journeys take us. That looks great. But that's what I'm thinking. They are beautiful. There's the coast. That's um, Palos Verdes, Catalina Island out there. LAX, presumably right about there. Got a rabbit right there. Santa Monica, Malibu behind these hills. I'm really uh, enjoying these VFR flights. Like, you know, when you are in the longitude and you're flying IFR, IFR and you're, you're just going, you're just, you know, zooming up to 42,000 feet, you don't really get to see things up close like this. So it's kind of fun. Look at that sunset. Good grief. Felt a little chop there, I think, as we're flying over these hills. Man, I tell you, this is some weather. This is some weather. It is a beautiful day, again. So cal today. Watched football today and yesterday, now that you mention it. I don't know if any of you saw the astounding, astoundingly entertaining Ohio State-Notre Dame game yesterday. Today, also some great games. Chiefs won. Probably saw Miami Dolphins notching 70, yes, 70 points. Highest scoring offense since 1966, friends. Which team is the last to score 70 or more points? Anybody know? I'm not mistaken, I think it was the Chicago Bears. In any case, 
we're going to keep watching this sun sink. And by the way, if you are new to Flight Simulator, you will see the sun sink. It will. You will actually be able to watch it set. That's amazing. I, I, I'm being dead serious. I really like flying VFR at comparatively low altitudes. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I have a co-worker who actually flew his 172 fixed gear, not an RG, from SoCal uh, to Bar Harbor, Maine, if you can believe it, on a cross country with his wife. He said it was one of the most incredible experiences seeing America from that uh, altitude. Channel Islands out here, not just Catalina. There's all sorts of them out there. And I think, I see, <laughs> I think that's the rabbit on our, on our airport, right there. I'll be damned. Frequency change approved Cessna well, let's check our ETE showing us 20 miles out. Is 20 miles out, so we don't need, we don't want to start our descent yet. Look at that. And the moon. The moon is in its correct phase. Look at that. Waxing crescent. Holy cow, the lighting in this game. Look at this. Look at that picture. Oh my gosh. See it? See, it's, it's look at the arc disappearing there. Oh my word, that is so cool. I think that's our airport. Uh, Stowing us now uh, nine minutes out, 18 miles. Uh, oh, that might be Camarillo, KCMA. And that might be KCM. Oh no, that's KCMA right there. You see it? Just barely make out the rabbit there. Yeah, that's it, dude, because that's the coast. Holy mackerel. Well, one thing that's different about flying the 172, the Skyhawk versus the, uh, the longitude is, you know, normally if you're 16 miles out, you know, you, you better be descending. But we're not coming down from 30,000 feet, 35,000 feet, 40,000 feet. We're coming down from 4,500 feet. And the, the Skyhawk can descend very quickly, very efficiently. There's just no need to begin a descent yet. All our numbers look good. Fuel flows. 14 gallons per hour. Slow us down just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we are literally lined up. And look at the sun. All right, well, let's see if we can raise the airport. Is it within range yet? KOXR? It is. Fifteen miles east. That's correct. Yes. Nice. Straight in. Don't have to even do the pattern. All right. Well, let's get down to thirty-five hundred feet. In any case. Start our descent. Yeah, that's CMA, that's Camarillo, that's Oxnard. 
So I know it seems like we're high, but trust me. The gun artist set down to 3,500 at 500 feet per minute. We'll pull back on that throttle just a little bit. Go ahead and go four inch. There goes the sun. Oh man, I did not intentionally time this so that we would be able to watch the sun set. There it goes. Oh man. <laughs> That is awesome, man. Okay, we're going to uh, increase our descent rate and set us down to 1,500. We're doing just fine. Coming in over these hills. Ooh, nice fire roads. There is this haze uh, in our area right now, this time of year. There's Point Magoo. Long ass runway. But this runway, a little sliver of sun left. This runway is uh, plenty long for the 172. 3,500, descending at 900 feet per minute. Slow us down a little bit more. I realized yesterday that I oversped the flaps, so I'm not going to do that today. Clear to land two five through whiskey. Clear to land runway two five Cessna Tree Bravo whiskey. Anyway, yeah, you you uh, this this white arc here is the flap flap speed, so you'd want to extend them within that arc only. Okay, there's our airport. You see it? I see one white and three reds. If I'm reading it right, so if that's true, let's arrest our descent rate slightly. So as I said, it looks like we're high, but we're not. One white or two whites on the, and it's a poppy, a precision approach path indicator, not a Vasi, a vertical approach slope indicator. So looking good, 80 knots. Don't want to come in too hot, you know? I'm just gonna keep it on, I mean, I'm, we're basically lined up. I, it looks like we're a little right of center line, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to HDG. Pull us a little left. There we go. One white, looks to me like one white, three reds. Wouldn't set us down to 500. The airport's basically at sea level, so. Oh, man. Here it is, CMA. You can see this from this perspective. Now we've drifted slightly left. So we'll stay in autopilot mode. For now, showing us just 7.2 nautical miles out. Fifteen hundred feet, just about make out that. Hobby. I'm showing us now four reds, so let's arrest our descent even more. Monitor that airspeed. You know, when you shallow out of a descent from 600 feet per minute to 100 feet per minute, you're going to lose airspeed. Now showing 5.9 nautical miles out. And we're still looking at four reds, so that means they think we're a little low. We're too low, so we're shallowing out the descent rate. That should bring up some 
whites. There's the OMI, the auto marker indicator. It's flashing right there, you see? And you see now we've got a white on the poppy. So that means we're easing up into the glide slope. That's what we want. Man, you get north of LA just a little bit and you're flying over fields, agriculture. Do a notch of flaps. We'll take the autopilot. We're full rich and we'll get our landing lights on. We're on two on two on the poppy. That's what we want to see. That means we're right where we want to be. Just a bit. I'd like to hear the stall horn. I checked on our last flight. I think we touched down at like 40 knots and I still didn't hear the stall horn. Hey, okay, looks like we're good. Looks like we got three whites, one red now on the poppy. Yeah, we're catching a little chop. Just a little bit. Another notch of flaps. Now we got four whites, so we're a little high. We'll adjust it. Doing about 72 knots right now. Let's pick up that speed just a bit. You can see the tower light blinking green and white. That's the uh, color coding for a civilian airport. Now we got one red now on the poppy. And two. We're looking really good. Definitely, definitely feeling it. There's the ocean right out past the airport. Full flaps. And there they are. They are, to, they are extended. Looks good. Two and two on the poppy. 65 knots. Maintain that two and two and you'll uh, grease it. Ground speed's 59.9. We do have a little wind in front of us, not much. Still got two and two on our poppies. Looking really good. Full flaps, full rich. Now one red, three whites. So we'll ease it down just a bit. Headings confirmed, 2-5. There's the thousand foot markers. Oh, wind. Oh. All right. I'll take it. All right, here it is. Is this Bravo? Welcome to Oxnard, friends. Cessna 3 Bravo Whiskey contact ground on 121 decimal minor. 
think we actually managed to make that turn in Charlie. Let's see if we can zoom in here and tell. We did. <laughs> uh, you gotta love the Cessna. All right, let's uh, ATC work this time too. Oxnard ground. Uh, taxi to parking. Oxnard ground Cessna November tree for tree. Flaps. Taxi to parking. Retracted. Which taxi light taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Alpha Cessna Tree Bravo Whiskey. Oh boy, there's our parking space. Couldn't be much closer. Well, I just think this is a heck of a lot of fun. I think our strobes are still on. Seriously, I. I, I, I I, I'm, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I'm just going to go this way. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. There's our marshaller. Where do you want me, pal? Probably scared him a little bit. Parking brake. Lean it out. Check one thing on those strobes. Light, beacon light. Strobe, yeah, that was right. Okay. Anyway. All right, friends. Well, welcome to Oxnard. Oof. That was fun. I had a grand time. I think they kept the ribbons on because I kind of cut that corner. Eh, they'll be fine. Welcome to Oxnard. I don't know where we'll go next. Maybe Santa Barbara or San Luis Obispo or somewhere up the coast. But anyway, thanks for joining us. And we'll kill the uh, battery here now and drop the logbook screen. Here we go. See, this pisses me off. It says KOXR vicinity. No, shithead. It wasn't vicinity. I landed at OXR. I'm sorry I cut that tiny little corner on the taxi ribbon. Anyway, it, no night credit, even though we saw the sunset. Anyway, 28-minute flight from Burbank to Oxnard. Oh, my God, if you could only get from Burbank to Oxnard in 28 minutes. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Tomorrow's Monday. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sure you're dreading it as much as I am. But have a great week, and we'll see a, you soon for the ongoing adventures of November 343 Bubble Whiskey. Take care. <laughs>